before the late Otto Warmbier was returned to American soil. North Korea reportedly sent a $2 million bill to the U.S. for Warmbier's hospital stay. The Washington Post reports that before Warmbier was returned to the U.S. in a comatose state, North Korea insisted on officials signing a pledge to pay $2 million for Warmbier's hospital care. Warmbier never regained consciousness and died in June of 2017 at a Cincinnati hospital. Warmbier was arrested in North Korea in 2016 for stealing a propaganda poster. During his one and a half years in custody, Warmbier fell into a coma. North Korea claimed the college student contracted botulism, while Warmbier's parents said their son was tortured and last December won a court case against North Korea, which was hit with $500 million in damages. Sources told the Post that members of the envoy to retrieve Warmbier did sign the pledge under instructions from President Trump. The Post adds that it is not known whether or not the Trump administration has since paid the $2 million bill. White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders responded to the Post in an email, saying, quote, We do not comment on hostage negotiations, which is why they have been so successful during this administration. Otto's father, Fred Warmbier, told the Post he was unaware of the medical bill, but said it sounded like, quote, ransom to him.